let's end this section with an example. And this is an old example, a very old one. Here is Sherlock Holmes and the Musgrave Ritual, published in 1893, when my old tutor used to give me an exercise in trigonometry, it always took the shape of measuring heights. When I was a lad, I worked out every tree and building in the estate. Let's work out an example of this sort. We've got the ground, and we've got a tree growing out of the ground at a right angle. And if you use a clinometer, you can measure the angle of elevation. That's this angle. And let's say it's 47 degrees. And you can certainly measure how far you are from the base of the tree. Let's say 32 feet. And you want to know this distance, how tall the tree is. Well, if you know this angle, and you know this side, that 32 is the adjacent side, and you want to know this length, this x is the opposite side, we should look for a trigonometric function that relates the angle the adjacent side and the opposite side. And there are two of them, but traditionally we use the sine, cosine, and tangent when we're doing this sort of right triangle trigonometry. So let's use the tangent. The tangent of 47 degrees is the opposite side that we're looking for divided by the adjacent side that we know. Multiply both sides of this equality by 32. And here's x. And you you might uh, say that, well, you don't know what the tangent of 47 degrees is. The only angles we learned are pi over 3, pi over 4, pi over 6. Um, 60 degrees, 45 degrees, and 30 degrees. Well, that's what a calculator is for. Now, we need to be careful because we know that angles can be measured in either radians or degrees. So if we tell our calculator we want the tangent of 47, is that going to give us 47, is that going to give us the tangent of 47 radians or 47 degrees? To go back and forth, we press this mode button and we can scroll up and down with these arrow keys. And you see a radians was highlighted. Let's go over to degree. Click enter. And then quit out. And now when we type 
32 times the tri uh, sine, cosine, and tangent are up here. There is no secant, cosecant, or cotangent button. 32 times the tangent of 47. Our calculator will understand that we mean 47 degrees. Press enter. This tree is about, I did not mean to share that. Let's try this again. This tree is about 34 feet tall. It was 34.31579872. Let's round to to one decimal place. And so we can use, as you see, we can use right um, triangle trigonometry to measure the missing sides of right triangles and many other things as well. This is just the first of many applications that we'll see throughout the course.